What is up everyone? This is Sorkin0909 and this is going to be episode 79 of Operation Dome, a series where our friends and I wicked in case the entire world in glass and glass panes. We still got a lot of work to do, but we have done some work in the progress. And here's the little wall right there. Some of the chunks are not loading properly. We got the ceiling up here. We got the gravel tower over there. And then we got all my wolfies. Look at all my magnificent wolfies. They look so weird in this texture pack, which is the Skyrim Masher pack. So every week is going to be a different texture pack so that it could just be something different for every episode so you know you're not looking at the same episode when you actually see a different texture pack from the previous one and the episode afterwards so this is a master pack of Skyrim are you guys actually still using the Skyrim master pack every now and then let me know in the comment section below I need to know who actually uses the texture pack I know I don't only until I actually need to make an episode of it my favorite is still the fantasy honestly it's just the fantasy texture pack makes a lot of things a little bit more cartoonish in a way, but a lot of more times more realistic. But anyways, all my little doggies, all my beautiful, beautiful doggies. They just look so weird without the ears. Oh, there's the ears. It's a little bit folded back, I guess. I don't know. It just looks so weird. Is that like a mistake or something? Oh, uh, well, just all the doggies are right here. I'm very happy. I'm just going to have to move them because my friends have been experiencing a lot of lag whenever they're actually near the tree dome. So what I'm going to have to do is that I'm going to actually have to go all the way over here. I'm thinking that this would be a perfect spot for all my wolfies to be in the mountainside. Just hollow it out, put a little bit of fence everywhere, and then put all the doggies inside. So that could be a deal. If they go past this area and if they're lagging, they'll know why because of all the doggies are right there. But then at the home base, they won't lag as so much so that they'll be able to access and leave the area without any problems. I know I saw Sticky Tack actually having a lot of problems actually opening the door as well as opening the chest. He was the first one to tell me that we need to move the wolfies. That of course he's getting a little bit of lag here that he can't really do anything and I'm not too sure if he actually lagged out or if anything else he just had to go. He didn't say anything so I'm just assuming he had to go. Well. That would be a little bit of a side project I could actually do off camera, but so far, so good that we are getting a little bit more glass panes, or I'm sorry, glass blocks, and then we can make them into panes. But first of all, I need to get some more sand because I'm kind of running out of sand. You will see why. First, let me go ahead and go to sleep, and then we'll turn it into daytime so I don't have to experience any mobs in the way because they're quite annoying when I'm trying to actually gather resources. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me go over here. Seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, almost, let me see, it's 11, 11 full so far, let me go over here, and we're going to see if there's any more, 12, and 13, 14, okay, so 14 chests so far, full of glass blocks, and I believe that with these furnaces right here, if I did, if I remember the math correctly from the other day, it's 8,960. Nearly three more chests. And the other chest that was almost like has a little bit of one line right there. So I'm going to assume that I'm going to get at least a good 18 chest full of glass so far. And I still need to get more because I still got 24 of the charcoal left. So that's another a good three more stacks of 64 sand. So I'm going to have to go ahead and collect a little bit more sand. It's going to help me out with the leaderboards, which I really, really need to make an update on the leaderboards. I'm going to try to do that in mid-July, or, well, not July, mid-June. Let's see how far I actually get into mid-June, and then I'll let you guys know on the leaderboards update. Was that another wolf? Oh, no, those, that's just a spider. Or a crabby. Hello, crabby. What's up? What's up? You look so weird. I can never tell where your eyes are at. Oh, is that the eyes right there? Behind the head? Okay, mandibles, the eyes, a little antenna, or maybe those are the eyes. Okay, yeah, you, you're supposed to be crabs. Okay, so that those are the claws, and then there's the eyes right there, and then behind there is just whatever. So that's what it looks like. It's going to be so long to actually figure it out, especially when looking at it the fur, uh, first time in a long time. But I digress, let us move on, because we need to get a lot more sand so that we can fill up the ceiling, because it's going to be a lot of blocks. The walls in itself could easily be done in a day if we actually dedicate ourselves to do that. So let's not, let's not do the easy part first, let's go ahead and do the hard part first. And of course I do have a little bit of a hole over there on the ceiling so that we can just drop down safely below into a large pool of water so that we won't die upon impact. And I've been getting a little bit more enchantments here and there because I got two enchanted shovels so now I'll be able to do a little bit more work. And I cannot see behind the 
little microphone shield that I have right now. It has a little bit of foam triangles around it so that it could actually capture and maintain a better quality type of audio. But I'm probably going to have to do that to the whole entire room so that I could get rid of all the background noises, but I still need to soundproof my walls. Whenever I get my own home or a studio, quote unquote, I'm going to make a room that's going to be just soundproof altogether. You can't hear what's outside, they can't hear you what's inside, then probably going to have that on air little thing on the top so I could just switch it on and let people know that I'm recording a video so that would be kind of nice to actually have I don't know how much that's going to cost but it's going to be well worth the investment whenever I actually save up enough money yeah goals right goals one day I'll be successful on YouTube if that's going to be the deal for me then hooray if not then I'm just going to continue on making videos for a hobby one day it'll be a living but it's just going to be a long time before that happens so what I can say is that I recently went to Comic Con and it was great. It was my first Comic Con ever or just pretty much convention altogether. First time I've ever went to a convention and it was fun. I could only go there for a day because we had to return home the next day which really kind of sucked but in any case I was able to meet at least one of the voice actors in some of my favorite anime shows. Well, at least one of them was Yu Yu Hakusho even though I was not able to keep up with all the episodes so far. This is what we have the internet for right guys? We could just watch all the episodes up on YouTube or if Netflix has it I'm pretty sure Netflix has it because Netflix has everything my god Netflix is just the king of anything that has to deal with a show honestly does Amazon Prime actually offer some anime shows I'm not too sure I actually do have some Amazon Prime right there just in case that I'm gonna actually buy something I don't want to actually wait for too long but I digress. I was able to actually meet Chuck Huber, if that's how you pronounce his name. I always kind of, I always kind of confuse how to actually pronounce his last name. But if you don't know who Chuck Huber is, is that he's the voice actor for a lot of anime shows. One of the links will be provided in the description below, so you'll actually see all the different anime characters he has voiced over the years. And one of them, mainly known as Hiei from Yu Yu Hakusho. That's what I did say earlier, didn't I? Yeah, I think I did. Oh well, just mainly, he is Android 17 from Dragon Ball Z, he was Emperor, 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 I cannot pronounce words no more, Emperor Pilaf, and all the other different characters that has to deal with Dragon Ball Z. A lot of extras that you probably would may have not even known about, but still, that he is mainly known as Android 17. And as well as, well, he was Dr. Frankenstein's soul leader. And for those who actually want to be reminded of, if you watch Full Metal Alchemist, he was Shao Tucker. Yeah, the guy who made the chimeras. <laughs> Yeah, he even made some jokes here and there, and I've already uploaded the videos of the panel on my, of course, on my channel. So if you want to check those out, everything will be linked in the description below, or just search it up yourself. That's going to be on my channel anyway, since it's going to be more recent. So it was great. He is a great personality. He is a great person. He was funny all around, and what a great way to actually start off the first convention. And as well as that, on the convention, I actually did buy myself a butterfly knife, which, well, it isn't a real one quote unquote it was more of a practice butterfly knife so I could actually get the hang of it before I buy a real butterfly knife so in case if I want to get one it's gonna be a little bit more top dollar with best quality I'm just gonna have to search up and research on which would be the best butterfly knife so the practice one I got cost about a good $16 and the thing was is that it was good for a while and after two days of actually constant use that is when one of the actual bearings actually flew off so that was kind of sad. I was sad that it was going to be like the commission so quick, but it was kind of expected. I've been actually just using it a lot more often and it got a little bit loose here and there. And as well as I dropped it a few times because, you know, when you practice with a butterfly knife, sometimes it actually flies out of your hand. So that's what I got is right now we could probably fix it if we were able to put in a new metal bearing right there so as long as i'm able to continue using it that'll be fine if i have to buy a real butterfly knife then i'm just gonna have to dull out the blade until i'm ready to use it then i'll sharpen the blade up once more again but keep in mind guys some of the states do not allow butterfly knives so if you want to know what states allow it what states don't whether or not yours actually do then make sure you look up where where your state is at and look up the laws about some of the weapons so you will know that you'll be able to actually have it because i know california can, or you're not allowed to have nunchucks some of the other states are not allowed to have nunchucks so just make sure you got to keep in check to see what states allow things and what state don't 
It kind of sucks, though. Kind of sucks. Some this is where the favoritism of which state has the better ruling. I know some people are gonna actually bring up some of the other states, like well, this state has this, this state, state doesn't. So if any case, that butterfly knives are legal here, and it's actually pretty great. Honestly, it's pretty great because I was just actually at Walmart the other day. Was just I was flinging around the butterfly knife, just casually doing it. No one really thought of anything of it because they knew it was a practice butterfly knife because it has this distinguished actual markings, it has this distinguished design of course because all this is just a little bit of a flat tab like you see a butter knife <laughs> get a butterfly knife butter knife anyways it was more of a blunt little thing where it's just you could t obviously tell that there's no knife there so no one really cared about it whatsoever but i digress i digress it was actually great to actually have a butterfly knife for a while i'm just gonna have to fix it and then i'll be able to practice a little bit more and maybe even make some videos here and there just flinging the butterfly knife see if i'm actually any good of other than the people who already posted videos about butterfly knives so let's move on what else is there to talk about what else is there to talk about i'm probably going to bring some of these topics up in operation bedrock because you know not many people watch operation bedrock not many people watch operation dome vice versa doesn't matter well i cannot see i cannot see i'm trying to see what what tool i have, I have right now okay there we go and i gotta keep in mind or i gotta keep in check to see if it's gonna be black barred anytime soon because we can make this into efficiency five if we really wish to with all the sand and two glass blocks i've been making i've been getting a lot of levels so this is where we can get efficiency five and make everything a lot faster so one of the things that i am doing of course you guys already know that i'm working out one of the things that i actually got Got myself to motivate myself on was that my friends my co-workers at work co-workers oh my god why do i always keep re making some redundant statements anyways me and my co-workers we are having a bet mainly as a competition so far we got four people involved if we get more than that would be great honestly because that just means more pool money in the end meaning that whoever participates in it puts up twenty dollars and whoever wins the competition gets everybody else's twenty dollars whoever was participating in the competition so it's me and four others so whoever's a winner gets eighty dollars so if we have five people in total then it'll be well technically be six because one person doesn't have to give up the twenty dollars but you guys know what i mean so if we got five other competitors it'll be a hundred dollars and the deadline is september 1st so we have three months to actually work out exercise and actually get the you know better health benefits and all that good stuff and how are we going to decide who's going to win that is going to be a little bit of a difficult factor because it could be so many things that could go into it one of the things that we agreed on wait why am i getting dirt i just realized i've been getting dirt the whole time i've just been having a different mindset right now that is so embarrassing let me just finish getting all the all the dirt blocks in my inventory before i actually go on and get into sand blocks i wonder how i wonder how long someone actually took to realize or how many people actually realized it before i did i don't even know my mind's going all over the place today so the deciding factor would be that whoever gets the best results yeah that's gonna be a little bit tough especially when we're gonna have to get a judge so what we're gonna have to do is that we're gonna have to probably pick someone that is non-biased probably not at work maybe mostly not at work because everyone's kind of friends right there probably gonna have to get a random stranger like we all hang out at the workplace and then we ask a customer that comes on in and then it's like hey would you like to be a judge for about a good five minutes we need to see who had the best results in the before and after picture that is right we're gonna go with that standard it's gonna be the before picture and then the after picture we've taken a photo of ourselves from the front from the side and then from the back I should have actually removed my hair because I have a long hair, honestly. My God. My, my, a lot of people keep telling me to get a haircut. I'm like, nah, it's fine, guys. It's fine. If it doesn't ruin your life, then it doesn't ruin my life. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyways, so yeah, that's going to be the deciding factor. Who's going to get the best results from the before and after picture? So again, we're going to have to find somebody. I'll pay them $5 just to be a judge. Well, I'll pay him after the fact. I'm not going to pay him before because then that's going to be a little bit biased, right? So after they judge and then we'll see who's going to win and then they'll get the pool money. It's going to, whoa, what the heck? What is that? Is that Flint? Is that, yep, that's Flint. Okay, that really confused me for a second. I can never tell some of the items here. But my God, I'm going so off topic so rather quickly. Back to topic. What mainly is that even if we do lose, 
the amount of dedication that we put into it, it still makes us winners in the end. Because even if we didn't actually get the best fit body, as long as that we actually did the exercise and we actually improve our health and better our health, that's what the real reward is going to be. So let's see who's going to actually keep up with it. We already shook hands. We're probably going to find some more people at work to actually join us. So by September 1st, let's see who's going to win. Do you think I'm going to win or do you think that somebody else is going to win? Let me know in the comment section below and be honest with me. Do you think I'm honestly going to win? If so, then hooray, more, more, more motivation. If not, then I'm going to go cry myself to sleep. At least with a pool of tears because it'll help me lose some water weight, right? Aha, we got to make fun of myself at some time. Everyone has to do that. Just make fun of yourself once in a while, but just don't overdo it. Because if you can't laugh at yourself, then what is it? that you could laugh at. So now that we have to go all the way back to the tree dome, at least I got some dirt because mainly after we actually get a lot of the sand in the area, we're going to have to replace it with dirt, at least with a layer. We're not going to go full, put everything down, like fill up every single crevice. We're just going to put a layer on top so that if you go to peaceful mode, the enderman will not spawn and then they will not take your blocks and then everybody will be happy. And my God, I really hate these types of things right here. I really hate it. Ah, oh God. Boop. Do, 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 do. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, it's a little bit of the OCPD type of deal. Or, wait, is that how it is? OCPD? Yeah, I think that's what it is. Anyways, you already see, well, I really need to go to sleep, otherwise you can't really see the map, so I'll hold up to that thought into when I actually go to bed. But regardless, that we're going to actually get rid of all the actual sand and then replace it with dirt so everything will look green, look nice, and more animals will start to spawn in the area. As you see that there are already more mobs spawning in the area. And there's a creeper over there. Hello creeper, excuse me while I go over there and I have to Oh no 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 bad creeper. No, 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 don't want, do not want. Okay, safe area, safe, safe. And save, except for if an enderman I were to teleport here. Other than that, I'm safe. So that everything is just gonna look nice, and I'm already getting a little bit of few frame drops because of the wolfies. You kind of notice it right then and there. So I'm definitely gonna have to move, have to move all the wolfies. And I like about this texture pack is that you're able to actually see through the sugar canes. That's actually pretty nice. We need more texture packs like that. Okay. So, moving on, moving on, we gotta go to bed, then we gotta put the dirt away, and then we're gonna actually have to get more sand for the actual real progress. My god, I'm so just off today. It's been a very long day, honestly. It's been a very, very long day. So, let's go look at the map, get this over with, and then we're gonna see that a lot of this was all desert. The only thing was there that in the corner area, that's where the natural force was, but everywhere else around me where I'm spinning at right now, that used to be all desert. Even all the way to the east side, that used to be all desert as well. And we're still working on it. You see there's a lot of gray spots in the top, right where the snow is. So that's where the sand is at currently, and we're getting rid of all of that. And then we're gonna replace it with a lot of the dirt, of course, and making the grass blocks and everything will be green. And I'm still contemplating whether or not to destroy all the ice let me know in the comment section below if we should destroy the ice okay now it's just been a long day as i said earlier that i've been waiting six hours or, or enough to actually record this video right here is that my parents decided to renovate the kitchen we already hired a few workers to actually help us out my father did a lot of work and now it's just we're having everybody else do the work too so it's a poor, it's pretty much a 50-50 progress or 50-50 process if that's the right word for it. And maybe later I'll actually take another like photo of it. I already taken a photo of the before and now I'm going to probably take another photo of what has been removed, what has been cleaned up and what we need to do and actually have to fix everything. I think my parents are going for a modern type of kitchen area more of the stainless steel type of look because we already have a black stove we already have a stainless steel refrigerator and everything else around it doesn't actually match it so that's what i'm assuming but i cannot tell that my father wanted to rebuild everything especially the kitchen itself because we have a counter that no one really uses except for storage space so he's gonna actually chop that in half and have the little countertop onto the wall precisely the wall and in a different episode i did show the actual table that he has built if i can actually find that photo i'll post it up on here but if i can't then yeah it's gonna be a while until i actually get another photo 
So he built a table by scratch. He actually made it himself and now is just sitting there and there's not much room to actually really use it to the best of its ability. He wants to actually move it horizontally and then we'll have a little bit more room. But since the counter is in the way, that's where the problem lies right there. The table itself is actually pretty impressive. You can actually have a, a family of two right there. Well, whoa, 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 whoa. Two families. There you go. Family of two, yeah, only two people in that family. You, it really matters of how you actually say things, especially when you're actually at a restaurant and you want to reserve a table. You don't say a family of two. It's like, I meant two families. How many people? Okay, so it's going to be a party of 10. So yeah, we could actually pretty much sit 10 to like 12 people down at the table and they'll be able to eat on the table comfortably, a little bit of leg room everywhere. So it's a good table. But once that kitchen is renovated, everything will be a little bit more calm because again, I was not able to record for a while because of all the little bit of destruction here and there. The hammering, the power tools, the scraping on the walls because they actually had to replaster the walls because they actually had to take everything out of the walls. I don't know what it's called. I honestly don't. I don't know what to call it. Is it insulation maybe or the filling the walls? I don't even know. They actually had to take it out. Who knows how long that has been actually sitting there for a while. If I can even English write, my god. No clue how long the stuff has been in the walls. It could be maybe like 10 to 15 years, maybe 20 years. I don't know. But they actually removed it, they actually replaced it, and now it's just plastered up, and it's kind of looked like there's nothing been actually destroyed at all. <laughs> but yeah, of course, we all know. Again, once that's done, I'm going to be very happy. It's going to be a little bit less noise, and maybe the kitchen will be even more enjoyable to actually sit down and eat every once in a while. Because, you know, a lot of people who play a lot of video games, or usually, or literally, work in their own room, that you always bring the food into your own room. I'm, when I'm editing and I'm eating, I eat and I watch my own videos. It's not sad, people. I gotta actually have to review the video just to make sure that things are going right, especially with the proper jump cuts that you see every now and then on this video and every other video that I've uploaded thus far. And I did talk about this last week, whether or not if I should make some shorter videos. I'm still gonna go work on that whenever I have a good day off and then there's nothing going on in the house. I'm gonna try to binge record as many videos as I could possibly can. If I could do five hours worth of recording and each recording is about a good average of eight minutes. So if we were to do the math here, oh my god more math so let me see that's going to be seven times six that would be equal to 56 okay so for like a minute or two between takes i guess no no this is like literally 20 seconds okay just thinking a little bit too ahead of myself 56 minutes so seven recordings per hour and if i do a total of three recordings or sorry three hours worth of recording that's going to be 21 different videos and then with 21 different videos my god, that's already a good month worth of uploads. Pretty much. Almost pretty much. Three weeks at most, really. That's going to be a lot of videos. So every day I could actually post even more content. And then I could possibly even move up to two videos a day, depending on where I go with this. Because you already know, I already make the 30-minute videos. And then I have the shorter videos to keep the time going. If people don't want to watch the 30-minute videos, then they could actually see the shorter videos. And they could participate in the conversation of the said video. So more ideas, more things I got to do, more things I got to change. Because this year is going to be a month, or this year is going to be the year of change. So going to be bettering my health, going to maintain a proper content upload every day, and, well, daily content upload. Again, I cannot think when I'm actually going ahead of myself. I really got to get a script. And I'm not going to do any retakes, guys, because it's been a long day. I want to actually get the video down because I still got a lot more videos to actually record, and I got to keep going. Dedication, perseverance, insanity, and as well as stubbornness. I'm not going to give up. I'm continuing on going. I'm not going to give up. One day I will make it. It will be, be because of you guys. So I will thank you guys ahead of time right here right now. Thank you guys for the support. Thank you guys for watching my videos. Thank you guys for giving a like or subscribing or sharing the videos or telling people that I exist. Truly, truly appreciate it, guys. I love you guys. I just don't know what else to say. Otherwise, it'll be a little bit too creepy. <laughs> I don't even know. So many sand to actually dig up. Really, a lot of sand to dig up. At least one of the things I'm probably going to have to do in the future is see if I can actually get myself an internship at a radio station. 
I know it's a broken record. I know some people may not even hear it right now because I don't know how to work with it. This is why I really want to actually get an internship so I could actually learn how to work with it. But a lot of people have been saying that I have a good voice whenever I am going on the counter where I'm just talking to people or I'm taking orders, repeating the orders clear and fluent. I don't know how I actually do it clear and fluently whenever I make a commentary. I'm just all over the place and I just cannot think to actually save my life. And then especially on the drive through well, of course, when you have that microphone voice right there and there or how you want to call it I don't even know you sound different when you're on the headset from when they're hearing through you and the intercom so apparently a lot of people say that I have a good voice on that too maybe I could actually start recording some of the moments of course I'm gonna blur out the faces but I'm like yeah people have said I have a good voice it's really a good self-esteem boost right there it makes me happy throughout the rest of the day until something else pops up and then I'm like oh rawr my god why this is happening but I digress, a lot of people have been saying that I have a good voice, I should try out something rather than working at a fast food restaurant. I'm like, I'll keep in mind of that. Right now, I gotta take things slow. But who knows, maybe I'll actually be on radio and then maybe you'll actually hear me and then you'll say, hey, I know that guy. That guy used to be crazy on YouTube or at least idiotic on YouTube and now he's doing something. And then of course I'm going to be making videos on the side because I still don't want to give up making videos. I have a lot of fun making videos. It's just the time and process is the thing that actually gets you down at times. So if anyone wants to make daily content videos, it takes a lot of dedication. It takes a lot of patience and it takes a lot out of you. It really, really does. That's why the top tiered YouTubers have their own editors. I'm doing everything by myself and so far I'm just making the easy aspects of making videos. I cannot imagine being a one man running show and actually doing everything that has to do with high tech type of co quality content. Not premium though, premium you have to pay for. Quality is free. But anyways, that's all I could really say for now because otherwise I'm just going to ramble on too much and then I'm going to forget what I've already said. So in a recap, my friends and I at work, we are making a competition bet. Whoever becomes the most fit and the best results from a before and after picture by or on September 1st or around there because who knows how long is it take for us to get judges. Then we will win the pool money and depending on how many people there are, that's $20 per person. So if we have five people participating other than the one person, then that's a good $100. My God, you can only, it's just, you work out, you get $100 in three months. It's well worth it. You get your better health and you get money and then you get bragging rights. Like, ha ha ha, I got this. But everyone else is going to be fit as well. So at least there's not going to be not many losers right there. Unless you're a person that doesn't actually work out or dedicate. And then you got lazy. You lose right then and there. And then of course I went on to a first convention. I really hope I will actually attend next year's convention. And other possible future conventions. Wherever the actual date and time and place and setting is at. Then I probably will try to go over there. Who knows? Maybe next year. I'm thinking of next year. Maybe if everything goes well for me, that's when I'll be able to attend a lot of conventions. I really want to plan things out and then have to attend every single convention right then and there. And what else did I talk about? I got a butterfly knife. I'm going to practice with that. Know your state laws. And if you want to get a butterfly knife, look up to see whether or not you're legally able to own one. And then I'm going to go to shorter videos. I really actually went off topic. I really want to talk about something else. But I will talk about that in Operation Bedrock. So this is going to be the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. If you're brand new to the channel, please subscribe. I upload videos every single day except for Sundays because that's going to be my day of rest. All my social media is down in the description below. So you can contact me through there and see what else I'm up to if I were to post something random or maybe even post up a video that you may have missed. So until then, this is going to be the end. Have a great day everyone i'm sir 90 and as always i will see you in the next video